I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MinuteMath, and today we're going to learn about integration with the power rule. We're going to evaluate each indefinite interval. So, I was given this interval, the integral of negative 3 dx. So, what I like to imagine is that the negative 3 has x to the 0 power right next to it, right? So, if we add that exponent, right, add it by 1, so we have negative 3 the constant, x to the first power divided by that exponent of 1 plus c, right? There's nothing else that we can, we can add there, so we always have that, have that constant. Now, 1 divided by negative 3, we don't really need that 1 or this 1, and so to write it simply with negative 3x plus c. Whenever we have a constant, this is going to happen. Remember, whenever you just have a constant and we need to integrate just the constant part, we can just add the x next to it. And again, don't forget your plus c, but either way, our final answer is negative 3x plus c. So let's recap. We're given the integral of negative 3 dx. Okay. Well, to take the integral of negative 3, we have to you know, keep the constant there and kind of toss in the x value in a sense, if you want to think of it that way. <coughs> toss in the x value there. And so we have that negative 3 x the first power divided by 1 plus c. Simplify that. 1 is all I need to write. So again, our final answer is just negative 3x plus c.